Hello friends. If you like hanging out with friends, chatting about fragrance as a hobby, you found the right place. My name is Dave. Welcome. Today is a happy, happy uh, video because um, what happened was um, in the past few weeks, springtime, the weather is getting warmer. I did a bunch of first impression and unboxing of a lot of uh, spring fragrances from some of the uh, more popular names, bigger names. But then what I found out was through the week, what I reached for is this guy. It's not as highly rated or as uh, hyped or popular or a big name. It is from Tommy Hilfiger, so it is a big name. But as far as fragrance wise, it's not one of the, you know, the giants. But I found myself reaching for this over and over again. No matter if I was hanging out at home or I just went to um, the, uh, the stores and I put this on, on my shirt, on my skin, on my hair and I went out, it's about 85 degrees, pretty, it's pretty warm. And I keep getting snips of myself. It's really, really nice. Um, you know, I, after the first impression, I think I had not very good uh, first impression review, especially on my skin. I remember it smelled kind of funky, but I, I don't get that anymore. I don't know if because my nose got used to it or, um, you know, just different type of situation. But I worry for the past week. Basically, I found myself reaching for it. So it's one of those um, uh, typical easy reach that fits and suits any type of situation, either at home or going out or hanging out with people. Even though I did not get a um, compliment, but I'm sure nobody's gonna say it smells bad. So um, that's why I gotta do a very quick review on the second impression of this one, Tommy Hilfiger Impact. Um, I did a maybe some video I have not uploaded yet, but I did maybe 14 uh, springtime fragrances uh, first impression. and surprisingly this is the one that i keep reaching for so this is one of the situation where the first impression wasn't as good but then later i grew to love it actually love it because if i use it almost every day you know i actually love it and you know some would say it's generic or it's not doing anything groundbreaking but everything have have its place so even though it's nothing groundbreaking but it's doing what it does really really well so I did not see later after the first impression I kind of look into what are some of the notes that's in here and it, sh it is shown to have woody notes citruses agigawa agigala wood amber cacao and musk but to be honest what I picked up the most is apple and I was surprised not to see that in the in the note listing I keep picking up apple and then I looked into it and uh, there's some comparison Hugo Boss bottle, which is an apple dominant uh, uh, fragrance. And it dawned on me, yes, it does. This is a fresher version, more citrusy version of Hugo Boss bottle. Um, it's called Boss bottle number six, and um, which is uh, right there. But anyhow, that's what it is. It's a citrusy. Uh, the citrus is, there's a few citrus involved. There's orange, there's lime bergamot, lemon, combination of those. So you don't pick up one specific type of citrus and you get a combination. It's like a drink. It's like a, 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 a summertime fruit drink that you put a lot of different uh, citrus in there. And it's nice. It's very enjoyable. I was walking in the store and the AC was blowing and I smelling myself even through a mask. It's really, really nice. Um, so even though there's nothing uh, too special I could say about this, but if they're they're doing you know um, if they're doing what they're doing to the best that they can and they're bringing out great product, um, you know I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So that is the best. Um, that is the best type of recommendation in that whatever I'm using, enjoy using. That's the one you know I would say is the best for me. Okay, for this type of weather, it's uh, early springtime weather, but it gets warm. It gets warm, maybe around 80, 85 ish. So, uh, with that said, now the longevity uh, at the testing, you know, for the, for the week, longevity is pretty good. You're looking at maybe four or five hours. Now, my skin eats up 
is dry, so it eats up the um, fragrance. So if maybe four or five hours for me, maybe you know you can add a couple more hours. And then on the clothing, I could still pick it up after a day of um, you know spray on my clothing at nighttime. I can smell. I can still still smell a little bit of it. So this is just a quick uh, second impression. So I, I'm loving this one. If um, there's an impact intense that that came out uh, this year, uh, 2021. I'm sorry, last year. This is a 2020 version. The difference will be that the bottle seems to be exactly the same, except this one. The intense will have an uh, intense at the bottom. So. I don't know what that one smells like. Um, if, I ever, if I ever do get it, I want it to be a surprise as always. So uh, I like the, the bottle shape. Um, my kid said this one is the hammer shark. <laughs> so I, I, I just realized that when she told me it's a hammer shark. Yeah, see that? Hammerhead shark. All right. But OK, that's a quick impression. Now, what else can I say? It's it's. Oh, what I want to say is I also smelled a little bit of the old Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy for men. If you know what that one smells like, you would say maybe it's, you know, the 80s and 90s smell or the little bit vintage. You're, you're right. What this one uh, is able to create is bringing some of those vintage, adding in some modern feel, modern vibe, and adding in some of those Hugo Boss, you know, Boss bottle. So it's for me. It's very well done, very well blended. The, the there's some uh, darker, there's some deeper woody notes, but they're able to make it make it into a fresher type of um, uh, uh, scent. Adding with those citrus, it, it works really, really well. So not only it's a, it's a, it's not a pure freshy, it's not a boring pure freshy. You can see the different. Uh, uh, type of scent in there, uh, the level of scent in there. So I appreciate that uh, very much. So instead of just example, some might say, well, does it smell like shower gel? Okay, shower gel typically is one type of smell. So you, you get you get uh, just one layer. Okay, so, but for me, this is more than one layer. Like I said, the, the, the darker woody notes adding with the citrus is, and also there's some musk. I, I can pick that up. So you could feel there's different layering, okay, different layers. So I'm very, very happy and surprised by this one. So it's a great, great pickup. I'm, I'm so glad that I give it more worrying. But actually, I did not, <clears throat> I did not look for it. It looked for me. I was craving for it and I just saw it. And I keep reaching for it over the other ones that I review on this past few weeks. So that's the best recommendation I, gave, I can give you. The one that I keep reaching for it for the whole week, for the uh, last couple of weeks. So there you go. Uh, quick uh, little review. Second impression on this one. As always, um, keep watching and see me next time. Or see you next time. See me next time. All right. Thanks, guys.